Let's go check out our autoclave in our shared wet lab, which is up on the second floor. If you've got any biotechnology or life science companies in your incubator, you absolutely have to have an autoclave, a necessary piece of equipment. Now, when we started out, we bought one of these small tabletop autoclaves and installed it. You see the piping up here, the water feeds, and and we also had a drain down below. But these things are essentially useless. They're just too small for any kind of effective work. So we got a larger autoclave, but these are very expensive. It wasn't originally built into our budget to buy one this large. So we bought a remanufactured one, and you can get these for about 50% of the price of a new autoclave. So it's going to require some fairly significant installation to bring the necessary water feeds. And uh, here's the uh, cold water feeds coming into the back. It takes a substantial amount of power to these things, but you'll have to make sure you have enough power to do this. And you have to be able to drain the autoclave. We have a drain back here. And also, there's a look inside. But you'll need to vent these things. And we've got a large vent with a light and it's venting into our separate fume hood ventilating system that runs the entire length of the incubator. So it's not a uh, economical piece of equipment by any stretch to install an incubator, but it's part of the cost of doing business and most of these startup companies absolutely cannot afford these items in the beginning. We put on the side here a sign-up sheet, and uh, this is actually the tenant's idea showing company name, date, and in and out information, and when you're using this equipment on a shared basis in an incubator, you have to have some kind of technique like this. We've basically got an honor system going, and so far, so good. We've had a few minor incidents over six years but uh, for the most part, the tenants have a very strong incentive to operate this equipment properly and take good care of it because instead of being a student in a lab, now they're a company out there actually trying to survive.